And as I worked my job and stayed at my parents, I didn't move out right away. Um, I started buying music stuff. Soon I had not only my electric and acoustic guitars, but an electric bass as well, and a drum kit. I also needed to upgrade my tape recording stuff. I had my father's decks, but there was a real limit with these. A regular cassette deck is designed to record on left and right channels, one time, one go, no take backs. So basically, you hit record on it, and it's recording to the left and the right channel at the same time. Anything that was on either of those channels before gets blown away and the new material is laid down. So, if you're a band, you can put, let's say, two microphones in the room, and you can record the whole thing, and that's the way it is. And if the snare drum is too loud, you can't turn it down. And if the voice is too quiet, you can't turn it up. So obviously, it's not ideal, it's not perfect. And if you're only one guy, let's say you record your voice, on the left channel and you record your guitar on the right channel that's what you got if you want to add a guitar solo to that you gotta do something fancy now, I didn't know anybody who told me what ping-ponging was but I did work out a simple way of how to do it so my primitive way of ping-ponging was I would record let's say my voice and the guitar to the left and right channels of a cassette tape and once that was all recorded I'd have something on both channels, left and right. Then what I'd do is I'd rewind it, and I'd take the tape of its left and right channels, and I'd stick it into some kind of a second machine that could play tapes in any way, and I would play it. But what I'd do is I would play the left and right channels at one cable. So this one cable would have both left and right, and I'd have that coming in to the other machine. So. Now my left channel is going to have the voice and the guitar because I've stuck them together. And then this channel is open and ready for me to record something on. So what I do is play this deck so that the signal's coming in and hit record, get a microphone and record a third thing. And then what you can do is keep repeating this over and over again. So once again, take this put it into the alternate machine, rewind it, press play and get all three things coming in this channel. Sound like crap by the way because of how often they've been copied. And then you can record and you've got your three things coming in here and you've got your microphone that's recording a fourth thing. You can keep doing that but there's little control over it and it sounds like crap because every time you copy that tape it sounds less and less like it did the first time you recorded it and the more and more static and noise is part of the signal. So what I bought myself to play with in my bedroom was one of these. A cassette 4-track recorder. It's essentially exactly the same thing with more control. So what it does is, here's left and right channels on the front side of the cassette tape, here's left and right channels on the back side of the cassette tape. The really valuable thing that you could do with this machine is you could record something on this channel and then you could rewind and add a second thing to the second channel and retain the original and it also would use the left and right channels that would normally be on the back side of a cassette as on the front side so basically you can record something record the next thing record another thing go back and replace this because you didn't like what you did then add another thing here so what my new four track enabled me to do is things like record guitar and voice into track one add let's say a drum part on track two and then bass guitar on track three and then a second guitar and electric guitar let's say on track four and I could take all these four tracks and I can record them into a separate tape machine as left and right. This enabled me to more or less record songs and be all the different musicians. Um, there was a very real limit because there were four tracks. Now you could do the same thing with the ping-ponging. Take all these three and dump all that to a single channel. But once again, it starts to sound like crap if you do that too much. you got to avoid that. This deck also enabled me to do a lot of weird stuff. Like, for instance, I could take 
a regular cassette tape, let's say a Bible tape. Binding the lie. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have now, what I can do here. Let's play the back side of the tape. I can even play the back side and the front side at the same time. In addition to that, there's a speed control with a finer tuned pitch control. One of my favorite tricks to do with this deck was this. Come with us and live in the magic castle. Come with us and live in a very happy place. Where we live there aren't any nasty zombies. Come with us to come with a smile upon your face. Please, please stay inside the magic castle. Please, please don't talk to the people outside. So what I'd have done is very carefully recorded it on the faster setting. Then I'd flip it down to the slower setting and I'd sing along with that in a harmony vocal. Please, please don't talk to the people and Just for good measure, a second harmony vocal sung to the half-speed track. Now, if you played that second backing harmony just on the back side of the tape in a regular tape player, it would sound like this. But in the shiny new four tracks recorder, it's going to sound like this. Come with us and live in the magic castle Come with us and live in a very happy place Where we live there aren't any nasty zombies Come with us to come with a smile upon your face Please, please stay inside the magic castle Please, please don't talk to the people outside Please, please be happy each and every day Come in and close the drawbridge so that we can go and hide And of course, this new equipment was used to make cassette tapes I could mail or give to people with rough versions of my own songs. making fun of my parents' religious music. Go often to church and never go elsewhere This will be the crutch Trust all of God's children Oh,
weird psychedelic things that were anything I could think of. Hello, babe. 